my God. He said, after that, you will be released. Dear child of God, the time of your release has come. The time that the Lord will do something mighty for. Something great that would foster your release has come in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, it will show wonders. It will perform something. Dear child of God, you will see the strange act of God. You will see the wonders of God. God will stretch forth his hand. He said, I will stretch forth my hand and strike and strike and strike the Egyptians and strike your enemies. He said, I will strike that situation. I will strike that thing that the enemies had caused around you to bring you pain, dear child of God. Today, God will deal with that situation. He will strike it and you would have your release in the mighty name of Jesus. You have not been able to enjoy your life for a long time. You have been crying, you have been in pain, you have been in sorrow because you have been trapped. Today, God is stretching forth his hand. He's saying, I will strike everything that the enemies may have been doing against you. He's saying, I would overthrow your adversaries. He's saying, I would unleash my wrath upon them. He's saying, I will consume them. He's saying, I would withstand everything that have withstood you for a long time. And then you would have your release. Dear child of God, be in expectation for something wonderful will begin to happen. Some miraculous things will begin to happen. Some strange appointments will be coming. Dear child of God, this is how God will change your location. You will receive a call from a distant land asking you to come. Yes, because your help is needed. And from that moment, your story will change. Your location will change. God will send you to a place and you will find your helper, your helper that will change everything around your life. God sent Moses and through Moses, he changed their location, he changed everything about their life. He changed their well-being and brought a release to them. Dear child of God, God will send your Moses. God will send your deliverer. God will send that one that he will use to change your story. God will send that one that he will use to raise you up. God will send that one that he will use to uplift you, to take you to the place you are meant to be, to take you to the place of your heritage, to take you to the place of your glory and honor. Don't be afraid, dear child of God. Don't be afraid on what God is wanting you to do right now. Don't be afraid on what is leading you to do right now because he's working something out. He's working out your release. He's working out your release, dear child of God. Don't hold back. Allow God to take you through the process and you will get there. Yes, yeah, sometimes it may look very rigorous. Yes, it may look like it comes with a lot of pain when the Lord changed the position of Joseph. It was not a comfortable one, but they led him to the place he was supposed to get to the throne. When God told Abraham to leave his father's house, yes, it was not so comfortable. But when he got out, he got into his blessings. He got into the place of his honor, to the place he received that honor that we know of him today. Dear child of God, it may go through some process with you, yes. It may be some heavy one, but trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process, for there will be a release. Trust the process, for there will be a release. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear child of God, pay attention to the word of God. He said you would have your release. So God will deal with everything that may have kept you bound. God will deal with every situation. God will deal with every of that predicament that caused you to experience that nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, what was happening at this time was that the people of God were stagnated. They were left in a place for a long time. The Lord is saying to you, you have dwelt in this place long enough. It is time I move you forward. It is time I show forth my strength. It is time I cause your deliverance to happen speedily. It is time you have your release. Dear child of God, you would have your release. Your promotion is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. Dear child of God, your upliftment is coming. Your change of story is coming. And dear child of God, you will testify of the wonders of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you may have been there single for a long time because some things, some people, some situations have kept you down. God will stretch forth his hand today and strike that situation. And today, after the wonders of God, you would experience your release in the name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will say, God has set me free. God has taken me out of bondage. God has taken me out of captivity. Dear child of God, you have been a shell. Yes, you have been a shell. You have been a shadow of yourself for a long time. You do not even recognize yourself anymore. 
because of the situations. God is saying to you today, I will strike. I will strike by my hand every of those things the enemies may have done around you, within your family, within your home. Joy and harmony has been rare around you, dear child of God. It seems like it's only too much pain, troubles, hardship. Today, God will strike that situation and there will be a release in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, your family may have been in bondage. Today, there will be a release in the mighty name of Jesus. It seems like nothing is working. It seems like nothing is happening. You have been asking the Lord, when? When would I see my salvation? When would my story change? When would I experience my breakthrough? Dear child of God, you have been asking the Lord, please, when will you show up for me? When will you come to change my story? You have been asking the Lord, when would I see my own breakthrough? When would I see my upliftment? God is saying to you today, I'll strike forth my hand. I'll strike those enemy. I'll strike those situations. I'll strike those things that may have brought darkness around you. Those things that may have amplified pains around you. Those situations, I would unleash my wrath upon them. He says to you today, you are going to see your freedom. You are going to see your deliverance. You shall be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. He said upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Yes, and the sons of Jacob, he says they will possess their possessions. Their child of God, after the release, you are supposed to possess your possession. And today, there shall be a release. There shall be a sending forth. Yes, you'll be sent forth into your glorious heritage, into your glorious place in the mighty name of Jesus into your place of splendor and blessing, into your place of affluence, into your place of nourishment, into your place of rest. The Lord will bring your release today in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I will strike them. I will strike those enemies with my wonders. God will do something today that will cause them to be silenced. Dear child of God, they will be silenced because they will not be able to withstand it anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, that God that you serve, he said, his strength brought out his people out of bondage. He says, by my strength, by the strength of my hand, I brought you out of the house of bondage. Dear child of God, Exodus 13, 14. God will bring you out of your house of bondage. You may have been in bondage. You may have been in captivity. You may have been locked up. You may have been in a place that you know your productivity had been watered down. Your productivity had been suppressed. Today, there will be a change and there will be a release in the mighty name of Jesus. God, if you would have to change your location, He would change your location in the mighty name of Jesus. If you would have to change the nation where you live in, dear child of God, He would change your nation. God brought them out. He brought them out of Egypt and took them to a different place, to a place flowing with milk and honey, to a place of rest, to a place of blessing, to a place where they could enjoy themselves. Dear child of God, there will be a release. There will be a release. You may have been in the house of bondage. You may have been in the nation that you are locked up. You may have been in a nation that nothing is working. Nothing seems to be moving. Yes, you have not even seen anything. No headway. No job opportunities for you. Yes, you are qualified. But nothing is happening. You are there. You are beautiful. But no one is seeing you. You have everything that it takes to succeed. But no one is noticing you. God will change your location. And it will bring you to the place of your relevance. In the mighty name of Jesus, there would be a release in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you were locked up for a place. In a long time, you are there and nothing seemed to be working. Nothing seemed to be happening. You have done everything. You have done everything possible that you could do, but nothing seemed to be working. God will bring a release today. He will change your location. He will position you in the place of your honor, in the place of your prestige, in the place of your heritage. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the place that you are supposed to reign, God will send you forth there in the name of Jesus. He will do something wonderful. He said, I will perform wonders. And with all the wonders I will perform, you would see the release that you have been praying for. The word of God in Exodus 3 verse 20 says, So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders I will perform among them. And after that, he said, He will release you. It wasn't all easy for the Israelites. But when everything happened, when everything was accomplished, they were grateful at the end of the day. They complained in the process. The child of God, please don't complain in the process so that you don't make errors. Don't complain during the process so that you don't make errors. 
May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy upon you if you have complained. May the Lord have mercy upon his children for complaining when God was taking him and taking them through the process. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you, dear child of God. Daughter of God, God is taking you through a process. Don't complain. Don't complain. Allow God to help you. Keep watching. Keep looking out. Do all the needful. Do all that are necessary because God is taking you to your promised land, to your land of rest, to your land of plenty, to your land of upliftment. Yes, you were in bondage, but God is taking you to a place filled with milk and honey. Trust God, for He will get you there. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Shalom.